Now we'll learn some uh, two-handed bass and a little bit of slapping because I find that the slapping actually relates to the two-handed bass technique. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is take, say for example, uh, we'll start with a G. Okay, octave. And then in the right hand, we're going to play the octave of the, this lower one, or the same as that note over here. So what we do is I tend to use my third finger a lot because my first finger is going to reach down. Of course, there will be times I'll go up as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with triplets, or actually three note like this. go down with this hand and then I move up first finger or third back so you can do it either way um, and then of course you can go up like I mentioned before so that's a nice beginning uh, technique for getting just three notes rolling in succession Another one is to take a rhythm pattern we had done earlier and go like this. Or like this. And that goes back to one of the basic rhythm patterns, but they're all played on the bass. Sounds like... So that's a rhythmic version. And then the last one is the scale version. Uh, so, since I'm on G, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay there and I'm going to go down to an F and play a major scale pattern. Major. And I'm only doing that because it's easy to get to from here. So, like if you're going. And then same thing down. Okay. How do you use these? On the triplet one, I tend to try to figure out how to divide that up into four. What I mean by that is, say I go like this, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's six total notes. And then I'm just gonna play two notes, one, two. That's eight total notes. It's dividing it up. So now if I were playing eighth notes, what I would do is I'd have eight notes per measure, dividing, I think of it in sections of fours, like four eighth notes and four eighth notes. So it's like this. And that divides out. And then down here. And so forth. Or what I can do is do 16 notes and only have the different one. This is one of my favorite patterns. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then on the very last one, 13, 14, 15, 16. Slow motion. Now I speed it up. Sounds kind of cool. Lately, I've tended to get into this thing and a little harder to explain, but I just sort of, I feel the groove with my foot. I just keep it going and I'm playing randomly, like starting out with just sort of triplets. And so I'm thinking like a drummer where the right hand can play two notes, the left hand can play two notes. And I'm just sort of playing different figures in different shapes. The most important thing, though, is to feel the pulse of the beat. Um, so I could go, I'll try to play a, a slower version. I'm going to improvise the groove I'm playing. And notice I threw in a little, on a slower pace, you can throw those in as well, even a little bit on a faster. Okay, now when you slap, you can do the same thing with your thumb. Your thumb replaces what this finger's doing. I'm just hitting it. 
like that, I'm kind of muting sometimes with the palm of my hand. So now it's like that. Now you don't have the two notes, you know, unless you kind of reach over like that or something, but generally it's just sort of a triplet. Or you can go to the other rhythm where it's and you can mix that in. So first I'll do it with notes and then with the slap. So with notes, singles. Or just one note here. Either way, it works just fine. Mixing those together. Slapping. So those are two of the basic figures that I use a lot. And then of course you can throw in the scale every once in a while. But those two basic figures work very well. The cool thing about the slap is that you can actually play a bass line instead of just off of an octave. And here's one I use very commonly. Keep that in the camera. Now I'm gonna play this. Instead of, like, you normally you think of this, but instead of playing the chord, I'm playing the slap. And if you get a little trickier, you can actually say that, like a C minor 7, you can hold the chord down and still slap. There's an easy one with a bar. So those are some tricks that I use. Same thing, like if I go down to an E minor, I'm running off the screen a little bit. There's an E. That note's an octave of E, if you can see it. And then like... And every once in a while, the slap can actually become a note. So this is where it gets interesting if you're doing like... Slap. These can become slaps. They don't have to be notes every time. Or they can become notes on that on this hand over here. Or notes on both hands. Like that, if you do the note. So that would be for an example if I played uh, an E minor. What I'm doing there try to angle it more toward the thing because my thumb is doing this. It's going back and forth. So I'm playing this. I'm going to try to play with my stick angled here. Like that. Those get covered up a lot in the videos. Like that. So, or slap. Like that. So there are some interesting slap uh, techniques and uh, double bass techniques that I use. Uh, but in review, remember you have kind of a triplet-y thing or individual or you have more of a rhythmic like that and then of course a scale thrown in every once in a while.